hopefully it'll uh, keep some of those porch pirates away. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about now. Did you know that Hartford's one of the top 10 cities no. in the country where porch pirates strike most? And those stolen packages are especially prevalent during the holidays. To help you keep get gifts safe, we're getting some advice from South Windsor Police Department Sergeant Mark Cleverden. Such a clever last name. <laughs> it is. Yes, it I is. Almost said, I almost said Ellington because yes. you're from Ellington. I am from Ellington. Ellington. Identical yeah. twin, Identical and you grew twin. up with two other sets of twins. Two other sets of twins. That's Tell, right. What was that experience like, real it, quick? I, I think, like I explained to you at the break, it was, um, you know, whenever we played sports together, there was always the opportunity that I was going to be open because both people were trying to find my brother in the bathroom. <laughs> at least a couple buckets, I'd get, I'd get uh, free buckets before they figured it out. That's so incredible. That's you, a good tactic. you go into law enforcement, and your brother is an engineer? Yes, he's an engineer. Yes. So that's great. He's yeah, in good. Boston with uh, the royal family today. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, yeah. I saw that crazy. earlier. Yes, he probably is. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. All yeah. right, so porch pirates, uh, this is like an epidemic right now, especially in Hartford. What do you think's yeah. behind all this? Yeah, so so the way I like to describe this is this is a crime of opportunity, yep. right? So, so if we can limit that opportunity for these criminals to commit these crimes, we can do a better job of maintaining our own property and keeping it with us safe for the holidays. So that, that's goal number one. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that the Hartford has now climbed to like the 10th in the nation for stolen packages? Uh, it's pretty, it is pretty remarkable, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, our, our goal is to try to make sure that people limit the amount of time their packages are on their front porch, by their mailbox. So there are some tips we can give out to make sure we can help people do that. Delivery tracking is a must. You should okay. always be tracking your deliveries. Which you I should always be knowing when your deliveries, you don't do that. I don't do that. You know, you can actually register with the UPS too. It's free and they'll send you emails like yeah. up to date. About They're always circling yes, something at the bottom of my receipt saying, here's the tracking number. And yeah. I'm like, that's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. do I do with that? Yeah. Yeah. So the goal is to know that if you the package is coming when it's arriving because once it arrives that's when the moment of the crime of opportunity could happen for you to lose your package right so if you're in a position to make sure you have someone who can pick up that package for you to get it off your porch as quickly as possible a neighbor family member friend something along those lines if you're home yourself and you see that alert come in you should you should do your best you can to get that get that package inside get it safe I have a question have you seen those um, they're like receptacle bin holders mm -hmm. have you seen those on porches before so the, are those good and safe lock box are probably safer lock than just boxes. letting it sit there. So you can have a personalized lockbox that sits there that you can put the deliveries in and they can re-secure it. That would help as well. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. especially if I'm going away and I know a package is coming, I always get in touch with my neighbor. Yep. Hello, Janet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate you. Uh, you know, and she's kind enough to go over and, and bring in the package just that, to keep it in her house for a little bit. That is absolutely perfect. We always recommend people do that if they have someone they trust who can come grab that. <gasps> or you have it shipped to a safe location. That also helps yeah. too. If you know that someone is going to be home, you can ship it to a different address. Like our second home here at Channel 3. There you Absolutely. Go. There you go. Yeah. What about security cameras? Are those helpful? Those are awesome recommendations. Uh, some of the more reputable brands, Arlo and Ring. I have uh, Arlo. Do, uh, as do I. Uh, they will let you know when the package is delivered. So if you don't have delivery tracking, you didn't get it, you can't check it. You get that alert on your phone. If you have a neighbor like Janet who can come over, <laughs> she can grab the package take it away and then you'll be safe. So those are definitely helpful. Hmm. I want the porch pirates off of my porch. Do yeah. you hear, I, if you're listening, Mr. <laughs> porch Pirate, please stay off my porch. There you go. Yeah. The message from Scott Haney. There it is. <laughs> uh, you know, something that we were talking about this morning when we were um, going over this story, some people have been able to use the footage from these security cameras um, to, you know, bring it back to the company to get a refund. So does this actually constitute as evidence? It could, yeah. If, you, if, you're, if you're dealing with Amazon or some of the other big box stores and you have a theft of a package and you have proof that it was stolen, they'd probably be more likely to reimburse you for that. Well. That's pretty good. So, and they can certainly also help us um, track down suspects or criminals if we have photos of people, of sure. vehicles that they're driving away in. We have a, a, a pretty strong law enforcement network here in Connecticut that can share these photos and disseminate that information and get it out and make sure that we, we see if we can identify the people who are involved. Well, that's Excellent. great. So, so you guys are all working together sharing always. this information. Every day. That's all right. good to know. Well, I'll get my Arlo video set up and get ready to send to you in case it happens. <laughs> that's it. I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you. South Windsor Police Public Information Officer Mark Cleverton. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having happy me. Holidays. Thanks so much for coming in. Yeah, happy holidays. Thank say you. hi to your brother. I will. And those twins. I will. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll say hi to all Say hi to everybody. <laughs> I hope we were talking to the right Mark. You, you won't know. Exactly. I won't know. <laughs>